Lightworker, welcome to my channel. My name is George Lizos. I'm a spiritual teacher, intuitive, the author of Be The Guru, Lightworkers Gotta Work, and the number one best-selling Protect Your Light, a practical guide to energy protection, cleansing, and cutting cords. And in this video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing Kyle Gray's new deck, Gateway of Light Activation Oracle Cards. First of all, looking at the cover of this deck instantly communicates the message. It's all about providing you with portals and access and gateways of activating different frequencies of light within you. This oracle is a stargate portal connecting you with the infinite intelligence of the universe. Each card is an energetic bridge to spiritual retreats, chakras and guardian beings, leading you on a journey to connect with divine consciousness and receive messages to raise your vibration. You were born to light up the world, let the gateway support your destiny. And of course, it's by Cal Gray and the illustrations and the paintings, the beautiful images are by Jennifer Hoggard. Okay, so let's just open the deck and see what it's all about. So it's a 44 card deck. I always like to check the inside of the, of the boxes because they usually include a saying, as above, so below, so within, as without. Connections to heaven and earth through the stargate of your heart. That's so beautiful that it is a hermetic axiom over here. Okay, we have the booklet that includes information about what this deck is about. And I've already read that. And I want to share with you a, a, like a few details of this deck because it's quite different from most decks out there. So there are the cards are both activations and gateways. Activations meaning they activate something within you. They activate knowledge that we already have, but we may have forgotten or we may, may need um, a prompt or a trigger to remind ourselves of. And at the same time, they're gateways. They are vortices or portals that connect you to particular energies. Specifically, the different types of energies are chakra energies, spiritual retreats, light beings, light codes, upgrades, and downloads. Okay, so what I like about this deck is that when it comes to the chakras, Kyle included the higher chakras as well, the higher heart, earth star, soul star, Gaia gateway, and stellar gateway. When it comes to light beings, we go beyond just angels to connect with different types of beings as well. So. I think it is a very multi-dimensional kind of deck in the sense that it allows you to go beyond just the usual beings that you connect uh, on this plane, on this planet, to connecting with the entire universe. And as Kyle says in the deck, in the guidebook, that we all come from the stars. We all have all this wisdom within us. It's just a matter of activating it. And that's what this deck allows us to do. So I'm just gonna take you through all the cards here so you get an idea. The Akashic Stargate, this is one of my favorite ones. It instantly portrays the different portals that this card, just looking at it, allows you to connect with it. And in the end of this um, review, I'll be giving you a reading, but these readings, I'm inspired to do something different. Instead of just telling you, okay, this is your reading, I'll be guiding you through a short meditation just to connect a little bit with the energy of this card because what I like about these cards, yes, you can use them as traditional oracle decks to give yourself and other people messages, but also you can use them as meditation prompts. You can use them to journey. You can use them to activate these energies within you. That's why they were created in the first place. So there are many different uses to it. But the way I'm inspired to use it is to deepen my connection to different frequencies. Let's say, for example, activating my third eye chakra or connecting with the Hathor light codes. I think it is um, a system for spiritual ascension and evolution. That's how we describe this deck. And I haven't personally seen other decks like it before. So have you? Let me know in the comments below if, you've, if you have similar decks. And also what do you think about this one? Now notice how bright the colors are. What I like about the images is that they're so representative of the frequencies and the energies of what's portrayed. 
And therefore, just by looking at the, the sacred geometry and the symbolism and the colors, it makes it so easy for you to connect to that frequency, to connect to that energy. So it's not just um, random pictures that were put on a deck <laughs> with different prompts. You can tell that Kyle and Jennifer, the illustrator, they've spent time like constructing the symbolism, as you can see here, constructing the symbolism and the colors and the images to create an accurate representation of each gateway, each portal. Look at this one, karmic board clearing. Do you see what I mean? Just looking at this helps you and connecting with the frequency of that helps you clear karmic blocks and karmic contracts that you have. Oh, this is one of my favorite one because I love connecting with the elementals. So you can go on journeys. You can guide yourself through meditations. You can live it next to your bed and then ask each gateway and the beings there to take you through a journey in your dream, in your dreams. Or you can just use it every morning when you meditate and just hold it or have it near you and let the energy activate within you. Or you can visualize the light from each card. Just extend out and cleanse you, like here, cleansing yourself with a violet flame, a transmuting frequency of light that completely um, transcends whatever negativity there is within your energy field. Or you can connect with specific guides, like the light beings, the Anunnaki, or the uh, Arcturians, or the Pleiadians. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. And that's the final one, the Divine Matrix. Okay, shall we do a quick reading? Now, this is a collective reading and it's gonna be more than a reading. I'm gonna be guiding you through it, like a very short meditation just to connect with the energy. So let's see what energy, what gateway you're ready to activate within you right now. Okay, so the card is Star Gathering and the prompts here are stars aligned remembering home, soul, family. So I just want you to take a deep breath in and out right now. And with the exhale, come into your heart. I want you to visualize your heart extending out an energetic cord and connecting you with this card as you see it right now. And allowing the frequency within the card and the star gathering that you can see here just make an energetic connection with your heart. And as you breathe in and out, allow this energetic connection to be established. And let yourself remember home. Call upon your soul family, whoever these are. We come from different parts of this universe. And this card is a gateway for you to connect with where you came from. It could be a single place, it could be many different places, whatever that is, let yourself go there. Let this card take you on a journey to remember your home and remember your soul family. And you may feel this, you may hear this, you may know this, you may see this. It doesn't have to be a, a visual journey can be a sense of knowing, a sense of coming home, a sense of peace. And let yourself receive these frequencies from your home. And let it awaken within you your gifts, your talents, your purpose, and any abilities that you need from home to help you follow your purpose on this planet, in this incarnation, right now. You don't need to overthink this. You don't need to think too much. You don't need to do anything. You just need to allow yourself to receive. Bathe yourself in the frequency of home. And breathe deeply. And with each inhale, receive more and more of this light, more and more of this wisdom. Feel it becoming one with every piece of consciousness within you, assimilating with your heart, with the physicality of your body, instilling 
your energy with this beautiful light. Allowing yourself to be more of you with each breath. More of the real you, stripping away all that no longer serves you, stripping away all that no longer is you, all the conditioning, all the things you were taught you have to be. And allowing this new frequency, the real frequency of you, to take its place. Take another deep breath in. With the exhale, come into your heart, cementing this. And when you're ready, you hide your eyes closed. You can open your eyes and let go. And there you go. Kyle Grace, Gateway of Light, Activation Oracle Cards. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments how you enjoyed this deck. What card was your favorite? And make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.